Hi guys, it's me Van Slam and I am doing a video on the install of the GV crash bars on my new KLR650 or new to me anyway. Enjoy! Hey guys, it's me Van Slam and I am back to put on my um, GV bars on my bike. I had some errands I had to run. Looks like the sun's going down. So I'm going to take care of that. Um, first thing I'm of course going to do is take off the uh, skid plate. Um, and then uh, while, while that's off, I'll change the oil, but I'll do something else later. Um, so anyway, that's what So since the lighting was so bad, I had to do this by pictures and stop the video. So anyway, guys, this is the KLR. That's the box. Those are the crash cars I'm going to put on the box. Um, here we are looking at the skid plate. I'm going to take the four 8 millimeter bolts out and take the skid plate off. It'll just make mounting a lot easier. So what I'm going to do here is show you exactly um, the bolts I'm going to take off that mount the engine to the frame. Those three bolts need to come off uh, 212 millimeter and 114 millimeter. Um, it's a nut and bolt combination on each side. So you've got to take those off um, because actually the piece that comes on the GV replaces these two pieces um, and uh, matches right to the frame. So those are the front bolts and that's the back bolt. Um, and you'll need to do this in order to put the GVs on. That's a main structural uh, support piece. Here's another piece. It's the lower frame uh, bolt. Um, these actually I changed out, but um, I'm going to put in the GV bolts um, for that anchor point. And then the final anchor point, there's a piece or a cross member bar that goes um, behind the cylinder that connects the two um, GV main pieces together and gives it more support. So once again, I'm showing you these bolts that I'm going to take out. This is the back side. These are the nuts of the bolts. Make sure you have to you have to secure them both to, to get the uh, piece out. Now, I have a Top Gun uh, chain guard there, so I'm going to leave that in and just take out the bottom bolt. There's a washer there that comes with it that I won't use, but you'll see it later on in the video. Um, and here we are. I'm showing you on the flip side, the other side, where the cross member comes through on the um, GV cross member. Okay guys, so here we are. Um, I've already mounted uh, the right side of the GV crash bar to, to the front bolts there. I actually didn't mount it, just put the bolts through just to hold it up. Um, and I'm just letting it lay there. I'm not tightening everything. Uh, I think it's better if you just take all the bolts off and just put it up there loosely um, and then tighten all the bolts uh, once you get everything together. Now here it, it comes with a washer um, and that goes underneath the uh, GV mount there and the bolt goes through it. As you'll see in the next uh, clip here, um, there's the bolt, there's the washer, and on the bottom right side in the center, you'll see the uh, bottom anchor point of the GV right side crash bar. Um, so I just put that through. Now, once you get both sides on, of course, this is the centerpiece. You got little bushings there. I guess there were some issues with vibrations or something, but this works. Um, I rode the bike today and no problems. So you put that in first. I put it on the right side. Now I'm bringing the second side of the bar to line that up and set that up and put that on. As you secure it to the frame, it tightens the joint there. Um, so you tighten the three bolts and it, it pulls the front pieces together. Once again, I did this loosely to make sure everything else would match up. Now I'm here in the back part and I told you before I had the Top Gun chain guard there. Well, I, it comes with a washer and decided not to use the washer because the Top Gun piece is bigger and that should give you enough spacing, I thought, and it actually ended up being the case once I tightened the bolts up. So there I have it there loosely with the wash, without the washer and just using the Top Gun brace as my point connect there. Now here we are. I'm showing you the cross member. Now the cross member, it goes up and down. That's the piece there. Um, there's there's only there's a couple ways you can do it, but you know if once you put it in, it's pretty intuitive. As you can see, it's up and down, based on the right there. Just trying to show you how it fits in there at best. Then what I did was once I got that in, I aligned it and made sure it was right. And then of course I got the hex bolt out that comes with the kit. I mean all these bolts come with the kit. Uh, the hex bolt that came with the kit and just put it in there and it, it's self-threading on the reverse side. There's a nut welded to the bottom of the cross member there. Um, and it sets right up. That is a six millimeter um, Allen wrench that works on that. So you can see I'm just showing you how it, how it fits and everything matches up there. 
and marries up and just you know just put it together um, and there you go and there it is everything's pretty much loose at this point I made sure everything fit nothing was touching and then I went through and I guess maybe around the bike maybe two or three times just tightening it little by little until everything fit and there you go so everything's done everything's on and my GB pieces are completed so guys let's go through the tools that you need um, you're gonna need a 12 13 and 14 socket a number six Allen wrench a um, 8 and 10 millimeter socket a Phillips head um, I used an extender it was about six inch extender and a knuckle um, to help me tighten the bolts uh, so that's about it um, once again you're gonna need two because you're gonna be tightening the front left and right so there we go guys this is what it looks like um, on the uh, engine guard the GV engine guards on the right side once it's been uh, everything's been tightened down once again I did this in three maybe four different series of tightening you know loose to keep everything loose and just so I can get everything together and then little by little I tightened uh, each bolt uh, around the bike um, and just to show you what the uh, center piece looks like right there as you can see the two pieces that come across in the front um, of the GV system that gives you some uh, strength there across the sides of the member that actually uh, attach to the down tube um, where the engine is connected and secured to the frame um, and now we'll go over to the uh, left side again and okay guys so here's the left side of the bike again once again everything's complete and tight as you can see it fits really close to the uh, left side fairing there um, covering the radiator um, here we are on the right side of course there's no radiator on said but of course it fits well and hangs pretty close and tight um, once again I didn't have any problems with it the only issue I had of course was the finish on the crinkling there um, but otherwise everything looks good um, I'm very excited about it can't wait to go out riding with it take care everyone and uh, that's about it, guys. Um, once again, don't forget to subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video again. And uh, that's how you put GV bars on a KLR 650. Bye.